Welcome to another edition of In the Spotlight with the Magic. I'm Jimmy Lilladall, play-by-play voice of the Magicians. The Magic were in Aberdeen at the Odie Center this past weekend. A 5-2 loss, unfortunately, on Friday night as Aberdeen started the scoring at 13-24. Tyler Bossert scores. Carter Rue and Joey Strata get the assist. Aberdeen makes it 2-0 about three minutes later. Logan Genuine scores. Kevin Fitzgerald and Riley Murphy get the assist. Aberdeen leads 2-0 after one frame. Going to the second period, Aberdeen adds another. It's Carson Demoff who gets his 12th of the season. Logan Genuine getting an assist as well as Kevin Fitzgerald. It was 3-0 going into the third period. Aberdeen had the lead. In the third period, Caleb Height scores his ninth goal of the season. Andrew Kangas gets the lone assist. Aberdeen striking back with a Carter Rue goal, making it 4-1 Aberdeen. Minnesota gets one more goal in the contest. Travis Brown nets his 10th goal of the season. Parker Mismash gets the lone assist, 22 assists for Mismash on the season. As Aberdeen scores one more to make it 5-2, Carson Demoff gets the last goal in the hockey game. Kevin Fitzgerald and Logan Genuine get the assists as Aberdeen beats the Magicians 5-2 on Friday night. On Saturday night, same location, the Odie Center in Aberdeen, South Dakota, the hub city. The Magicians fall 4-1. Aberdeen starts the scoring in the first period. Logan the Genuine scores his second of the season. Carson Demoff and Kevin Fitzgerald get the assist as the Genuine line was all over uh, this weekend for Aberdeen. They scored another one in the second period, making it 2-0. Genuine gets the goal. Carson Demoff and Kevin Fitzgerald get the assists. 2-0 Aberdeen after one. 42 seconds into the second period, Gage Mackey scores for Aberdeen. Colton Fletcher and Keenan Spillum get the assist. Aberdeen then makes it 4 0 as Philip Dusick scores. Joey Strata and Andy Carroll get the assist. Aberdeen leads 4 0 after two. In the third period, Minnesota does score. Caleb Hike gets his 10th goal of the season and second on the weekend as Cam Buell gets the lone assist. And the Magicians fall 4 1 in Aberdeen. Welcome back to In the Spotlight with the Magicians. I'm alongside goaltender Jake Acton. The Magicians played two games this past weekend in Aberdeen, unfortunately, uh, two losses. Uh, yeah, we just couldn't find a way. Uh, their goalie was, goalie was great. Uh, had a tough time getting through their, uh, through their defense, and uh, I think we've learned now what we have to do against that team, and I think next time we come up against them, we'll be ready for the challenge. January 3rd was your Magicians debut. What was it like coming into a new program and, and meeting a new bunch of guys? Oh, it was great. Guys were welcome right away. Uh, just a great atmosphere. Uh, fans are great. Uh, had a lot of fun. What's it been like uh, playing with Ivan Prozvetov? I know you guys have both been seeing time a little bit late as Scott Meyer has gone with the combo platter and net. Um, what's it like been, uh, you know, teaming up with Ivan and net? Uh, well, it's been great competition. Uh, just in practice, we're pushing each other to our max, and mm -hmm. uh, I think it's just a great, uh, great partnership. Uh, you're three, two, and one with one shutout this season, uh, and you just uh, were goaltender of the month. So, um, as of late, things have been good for you. Uh, yeah, I think a uh, little bit of a slide late as of late, but uh, mm -hmm. I feel comfortable. Um, obviously, great team, great defense, um, a lot of help back there. So. Um, yeah, it's going, going pretty well so far, I think. Not a lot of West Coast kids with the Magicians um, or in the North American League, if you look at the country as a whole. Uh, what was it like coming from the West Coast, and where are you from? Uh, so I'm from Livermore, California, uh, kind of a smaller town, a lot of uh, outdoor activities, uh, mm -hmm. a lot of ha hiking, uh, a lot of stuff to do outdoors. Um, definitely not a lot of ice hockey. Mm -hmm. uh, I was one of the only ones kind of growing up in my school uh, to play, so it was an uh, interesting dynamic, especially coming over to Minnesota where everyone grows up <laughs> playing hockey. Yep. So yeah, that's, uh, it was interesting coming over and seeing that. Um, yeah. When did you start playing hockey? Uh, so I started playing hockey when I was five, and I actually started playing roller hockey, okay. uh, and then I transitioned to ice hockey when I, was, uh, when I turned nine. So they say goalies are pretty crazy. Why did you decide to be a goalie? Uh, 
I remember uh, probably my main influence had to be Evgeny Nabokov. Uh, watched yep. him grow up uh, for the Sharks. Uh, I'd always watch the games with my grandpa and dad, mm -hmm. and uh, I would always just watch him. And I thought it was I thought it was cool. And uh, so yeah, I just kind of took up the position. Hobbies away from the rink. If it's not hockey, what are you doing? Um, well, back home, uh, like I said, a lot of outdoor things to do. Uh, a lot of hiking trails, so I'll go hike uh, mm -hmm. along with my buddies. Um, they actually just opened a, or I mean, I know it's hockey related, but they just opened an ice rink around by my house, so that's a new thing to do, but um, mainly just be outside. That's kind of what I like to, or mainly what I like to do. Before we go here, two games against Fairbanks uh, this weekend back here at, on home ice. Uh, how important is this weekend? Uh, very important. I think just for the team, just to kind of get back, get back winning. Uh, we definitely haven't had the success we would like as of late. Uh, so I think just to get four points this weekend, get back on the right track, and uh, keep making the push. Thanks for taking the time. Oh, yeah, thank you. Welcome back to In the Spotlight. The Magicians play two games this weekend, both against the Fairbanks Ice Dogs. On Friday night, the Magicians... Uh, We'll have Cam Buell Coaster Night. You can get one of these coasters if you purchase a beverage in the upper concourse, so looking forward to that. On Saturday night is Secondhand Hounds, the fourth annual uh, promotion with uh, Secondhand Hounds. You can come to the rink and adopt a dog. What a great deal that will be. If you can't make it to these two games, you can check out the broadcast on HockeyTV.com. It should be a great matchup. Fairbanks has been hot lately, and the Magicians have not played at home in quite some time. Ate Tolvanen is this week's alumni update. Tolvanen has five straight shutouts for Northern Michigan. He played with the Magicians during the 14-15 season. That's going to do it for another edition of In the Spotlight. So long, everybody.